In this video, we are going to discuss about the development of a truncated pyramid, truncated pentagonal pyramid. We will explain it with the help of a problem. A pentagonal pyramid of base say 30 mm and axis 60 mm long is resting on HP with its base and an edge of the base is parallel to VP. It is cut by a section plane inclined at 45 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP passing through a corner of the base. Draw the development of the lateral surface of truncated pyramid. Pentagonal pyramid is resting on the ground or HP. One side of the base of the pyramid is parallel to VP. Sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Draw the XY line. Draw one side of the pentagon parallel to the XY line. Draw 72 degree lines from both the ends and mark the sides of pentagon. Cut arcs with the sides as radius. Complete the pentagon. For locating the apex point of the pentagonal pyramid in the plan, draw two lines joining one corner with the midpoint of the opposite edge. Intersection point of these lines is the apex point or vertex point. The slant edges of the pyramid can be seen as lines joining these base corners and apex point. Name the corners as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Name the apex point as O. Project the apex point. Draw the axis line and maintain the height of the pyramid at the elevation. Project all the base corners. Join the base corners to the apex point. In the elevation, slant edges 5 dash O dash, 3 dash O dash, 4 dash O dash are visible, whereas 1 dash O dash and 2 dash O dash are invisible. The cutting plane or sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. The cutting plane can be seen as a line in the elevation. Further, it is passing through the base corner. Draw a 45 degree line through the base corner. This is the cutting plane or section plane. Mark points on the slant edges wherever the cutting plane cuts. P dash on the 1 dash O dash line, Q dash on the 2 dash O dash line, R dash on the 3 dash O dash line, S dash on the 4 dash O dash line, T dash on the 5 dash O dash line. Project P dash, mark the corresponding point of the plan as P. Project Q dash, mark the corresponding point of the plan as Q. Project R dash, mark the corresponding point of the plan as R. S dash cannot project directly. Project it horizontally to meet the 3 dash O dash line. Then project that point vertically to meet 3 O line. From O as center, transfer that point to 4 O line. This point is S yes, on the 4 O line. Project T dash. Mark the corresponding point of the plan as T. Since the cutting plane is passing through the base corner, points 5 and T are the same. Join these points P, Q, R, S, T and P. After sectioning, the top portion is assumed to be removed and the required bottom portion is darkened. Sectional lines are drawn in the section region. For drawing the development of a pyramid, true length of the slant edge is to be determined. Draw a horizontal line from O with O as center 
and o to any corner point as radius cut an arc project this point to the elevation join this point with apex point o dash this line is the true length line of the slant edge measure the distance of true length draw a line with the size of true length draw an arc with this distance as radius base edges are to be marked on this arc measure the base edge and mark five points on this arc name these points join these points with straight edges join these points with apex point also this is the development of a pentagonal pyramid without any sectioning now transfer the points on the cutting planes to the true length line measure the true length of r dash mark it on the slant edge 3 of the development part and name it as r measure the true length of q dash mark it on the slant edge 2 of the development part and name it as q measure the true length of s dash mark it on the slant edge 4 of the development part and name it as s measure the true length of p dash mark it on the slant edge 1 of the development part on both the ends and name it as p true length of t dash can be directly marked on point 5 join this point with straight dark lines darken the base edges and the required portions of the slant edges also finally show the dimensions